Hey guys, happy Halloween. Uh, so today we are going to pour with some cat ears on. Mina Villegas had this great idea to um, greet you all and pour in cat ears with a cat nose and so on and so forth. But seeing as though I'm not on camera, typically when I pour, I decided I would do an intro with me wearing my cat ears and I will wear them throughout the pour. Um, and uh, so this should be fun. It's Halloween. I hope you guys are going to be uh, safe and uh, I don't know, get lots of candy if you can. Um, I've heard a lot of stories that uh, Halloween's been canceled in many areas. So um, do something fun around the house for the kids or uh, or whatnot. I don't know. So let's get pouring. Uh, we're going to be using some Arteza paints today and a 24 by 24, or, I'm sorry, a 20 by 20 inch canvas. Um, and I still haven't figured out what exactly I want to do, but I think I'm gonna do a little bit of negative space. So we will see you on the canvas. Okay, so what we're going to be pouring out of, and maybe not all of them, but a couple of them, is this. This is um, a popsicle mold. And um, so I think it's great because it's got its own stand and it'll, you know, it'll hold the cups upright until I'm ready to use them. I, oh gosh, where did I get it? I can't recall right now. Oh, I got it at Marshall's. So um, it was in the clearance section and I thought how fun this would be to layer these up and pour them. So we'll, we'll see how they uh, work out. The colors I'm using are uh, Arteza's <clears throat> Pearl Marmalade, which is uh, right here. And I mixed everything with mix and it's seven parts mix to one part paint. Uh, I'm using also their Payne's Gray and that is right here. I'm using their Arteza Gold and Vermilion Red. So it's sort of like an orange color, but it's very vibrant and I love it. So we're gonna use those colors. I also have um, some white mixed up <clears throat> and we'll be using that as well. So let's start by maybe putting some white in a couple of them. No idea what that was. And then so this is going to be, I think, the negative space. I'm only going to do four of these because I may not need that much paint. And I, don't, I didn't do the research to find out how much paint these bad boys hold. Oh, this should be fun. It's not a round cup. My paints are fairly thick, the thickness of mix. I don't think I want to put too much in there. And I'm going to come in right in with the Prussian blue. I know, seems a little scary next to the orange, but with a vermilion red, but we'll see how it works out. I mean, if it's scary looking, then we did good. Some more white in here. And I want the white and gold sort of on the top and I'm leaving it this way because 
my negative space is going to be Prussian, I mean, sorry, Payne's Gray. And I want that contrast next to each other. I don't want Prussian Gray on the, ah, Prussian Gray on the top um, when I pour because that's the first that comes out. So that'll typically be the first that meets the negative space. So you sort of want a color that's a little off from there. I'm just gonna do this, put this right here. I'm going to put some paint down on the canvas. Um, and I think what we're gonna do is a negative space, but um, maybe like two stripes. Hmm. I haven't done that before, so. Let me move these into a safer area, right, right there. And now I'll, I'll leave that Prussian blue in there. might need more paint. <laughs> we'll see. Anywho, so we're gonna do one here and then here and go from there. I might have to mix up some more paint. So if I do, you know, you'll, you won't notice, but I'm gonna just pause this for now and then we'll come back with the two stripes. Okay, so here I am. Um, I got both sides coated for the most part. I've got paint everywhere. Uh, I'm just not very coordinated, I guess, this morning. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is I have these little guys and I have my first little popsicle maker and I'm going to do a traveling rain pour. And I think that'll be it. And I'm actually gonna get another cup somewhere. Um, hold on one second, because I wanna drain these into another cup. Things I didn't think through before I started pouring. All right. So I have this, I have a cup, and I'm just gonna put it like that. Now I'm gonna stretch this down. Not sure why, but that's what I wanted to do. one upside down in this cup as well. I'm sort of a fumbling fool I think this morning.
and put this back in the holder. Oops. Yeah, maybe I'll stop right there for now and I'm just gonna stretch out what I have. <clears throat> gonna move some of this Prussian blue in here. I'm just moving it around a bit because I think I'm going to come over here. I don't know, let it rest. Wait a sec. Hmm. It's interesting, but I think it might need a little something more. Uh, come in with my leftover um, over here. Oh, I really love this one. <clears throat> the vermilion red with the Payne's gray is amazing. I think I'm going to leave it well enough alone at this point. And I didn't need that other cup. It's really like, we'll see, let me get, touch up the corners here. Or the edge. Yeah, I'm pretty much digging this. I am going to uh, bring you guys in in just a minute. And turn the camera off. Okay, so while I was cleaning up the uh, edges, I decided, like, I know this is very transparent in here and it's beautiful, but I sort of want to bring more of the Payne's Gray into this and right in here. 
Um, and so that is what we're going to do. I didn't want to do it off camera on you guys. So let's bring it in ever so slightly and let it disappear. Very excited about this piece. A steady hand. You need a steady hand for sure. Because you want to follow the lines that are already there. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys in. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is going to look so awesome um, once it is dry. I just love all this in here. The little lines and the transparency in the um, pearl copper gold. I believe. Oh no, the pearl marmalade is going to just come through all of that white. Just layers of transparency in this piece. I love Mix Pouring Medium. You can find a link to it below in the video description box. There's also a coupon code you can use. So just follow the link if you're interested in getting some. And what else? Well, I don't know. I think that's it for now. Um, please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful Halloween. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye.